no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you live a no fear millionaire lifestyle no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you live a no fear millionaire lifestyle no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you are no fear millionaire you live a no fear millionaire lifestyle oh yeah you ask the world how you like me now I'm a no fear millionaire that's your story and you stick it to it and on that note welcome how you doing magnificent one it's a privilege and a pleasure to see you again you know I look forward to this weekly meeting Welcome to No Fear Millionaire Lifestyle TV. And I am your host, for those who know me well, Cheryl, with the Nest for Special, Walker the Talker. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Cheryl, with the Nest for Special, Walker the Talker, at your service. And it is a privilege to spend a quality half hour with you because you are that magnificent you are that fantastic you were born to live a millionaire lifestyle you were born to live your life in abundance how terrific is that you were born for a purpose your life has meaning you have a purpose for being on this planet you were born to resolve some issues this world needs you. We need you. But we need you healthy and we need you whole. So, on that note, let's get started. What we need to talk about today, we need to talk about obstacles and fear and all those other goody stuff that gets in the way. Obstacles are what you see when you take your eye off the prize. That's why it's so, so very, 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 very important that you keep your eye on the prize. You must stay focused on your objective. I mean, your eye has to just razor, just tune in and just keep it focused. Keep it focused on your objective. This is so important. I cannot emphasize it enough how important it is that you keep your eye on the prize. You must know what you want. It's not enough to say, I want to make more money. I want to live in a better house. I want to drive a better car. I want to have better relationships. I want my children to act better. I want a better education. You have to define better. What does that look like? What does better look like to you? What does that mean? You have to attach, really put some meat on the bones. If you have the bones, that's great. That's fantastic. That's a starting point. That's your foundation. But now you need to put some meat on the bones. And you have to have a definite sense of purpose. And this is why it's so important to reiterate, to reiterate, to reiterate that you are a no fear millionaire. And you live a no fear millionaire lifestyle. And that's how you live your life. And you have to be able to see your goal. You have to be able to see the accomplishment in your mind. Before you can have it, you have to see it. You have to believe that you can have it. You have to believe that you can achieve it. You have to believe that you are worthy of it. Before you can have it. So if you don't believe it and you're walking through life wishy-washy, so when something comes and it could just easily just knock you off your game. Because the obstacles are going to come. That's all a part of the design. But here's the beauty of it. When the obstacle comes and you pass the test, you know you are ready. Oh yes, you know you are ready. When the obstacle come and you pass, you pass the test with flying colors, yeah, baby. 
That's all you got? All right. And when the obstacles come and you don't pass the test, that's all right too. Because it's only telling you the area in your life where you need to do the work. Because here's, 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 the, here's the catch. You can have anything and everything you want. But you have to pay for it. Which means you have to do the work. You do not want someone else to just give it to you. Because then you sell your soul. And now you belong to someone else and you can't create what you came to this planet to create. You can't be who you came to the planet to be because now you'll be controlled by the one who you signed your life over to. This is why it's important for you to not surrender yourself. Share but not surrender. Share and see you need wisdom to understand the difference. Sharing your gifts and talents. Sharing your life with someone. Not surrendering your life to the point where you have lost your identity. So you must get to know yourself. Respect yourself. Love yourself and understand that you are worthy. You are worthy to be respected. You are worthy to be appreciated. You deserve to be respected. And if you are giving your all in all, and you're not receiving your just desserts, or you're being mistreated or being abused, or you feel like you perceive that you're being mistreated or being abused, first of all, you gotta check your motives. You have to make sure that your heart is clean, that your motives are pure. Don't do anything with the expectation that you're going to receive this as in return. When you do something, do it from your heart. Unless you're in a contract. Okay, if you're in a business contract, then of course you have an expectation, you have the consideration. Of course, that's a different uh, story. But we're talking about your personal. You're getting yourself together. Living your life with integrity and just your personal being. So it's about being a complete whole person who has not surrendered their integrity. Who is living a quality, fabulous life on your terms. That's right, 